And welcome back to Resident Evil 7. Where, uh... Now that we've dealt with, um... Lucas as much as the game would have let us anyway, we can, uh, go past the, the barn over to whatever's behind it. In the time between videos, I have come to accept that Lucas escaped. Because, to Lucas, foiling his plan is tantamount to murder. You killed him. Congratulations. You didn't even have to end his life. And think about this. If he ever comes back for Resident Evil 9, check this out. He'll have another plan that you can spoil to kill him again. Emotionally. Wait, are you saying he's not in Resident Evil 8? No spoilers. He doesn't do spoilers, <laughs> remember? That's the only time Mia's heard that line. <laughs> also, uh, we're, uh, we gotta bring the crane, uh, back f for, for this, so we can raise some bridges again. I have to give you some props, because every Let's Play I've ever seen of this game, do like, why would you need the crank so nobody has it? Because you just had to put every item in the box for Lucas. So, y a lot of people walk out, see they need the crank, and then just turn around and go back inside and get the crank. Yeah, I did that my first run, too. Why didn't they just make it be, like, levers that you pull? Because the cranks are still out of the way. Like this one. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. It's like, I don't really know why they felt the need to make you plug oh. up one of your inventory slots. Oh, I love that house. This house that's just, like, tilted all... Oh, God, it's so cool. <laughs> I have seen this. I love, I love the aesthetic of the swamp and stuff in this game. It's so utterly realistic in how there's just shit out there. Like, someone built a pier out here a hundred years ago. A hundred years ago. And it's still mostly here. Where was the house attached to it? It's fucking 500 feet under the water now. <laughs> but look at how dark it is. And you can see, like... Thunder on the horizon. You can see, like, just the tippy-tippy tops of the trees, like, waving in the wind. It rules. It's so... It's fucking scary. It's scarier than any molded could ever be. Because if you fucking fall in the water, it doesn't matter if there's molded in there. Like, fuck this guy. <laughs> Thank you. Fuck this guy. The water is the scariest thing here. There isn't even any dry land to swim to. Yeah? Also, now that we've raised that bridge, uh, there's a bunch of molded... On Coming the left. up on the, uh, walkway now. On the left, I've seen exactly that. A water tower. A water tower that was not used anymore because the water rose. Over the years, the water level rose, so they didn't need the water tower anymore. And they just kind of, like, let it fall into the water that was now there. Let the water rejoin its brethren. Uh-oh. Uh that was kind of them to not follow you into the Mr. X room. Yeah. These guys are not going to give it to you today? Nope. Okay. As soon as you walk into here, they just kind of melt into the pier. That's a nice rhyme. You should start a hip hop career. <laughs> so yeah, the game has been uh, real nice about giving us supplies. It has been, especially because aside from that fat guy, there hasn't really been a whole lot of stuff to shoot. Like yeah. after, the barn, after the barn fight, these molded are pretty much the only thing. That section with Lucas has no enemies. Well, happy there birthday was part. That, well, yeah, I guess the happy birthday part, but remember there was that like group of like three molded in the right before the, the big guy. Oh, I guess yeah. that's true. There are some in the barn, but and we still came away with a, a lot of supplies. Look at that. This is something yeah. that should never happen in a, res in a, in a Resident Evil game. Look yeah, I, I'm, I'm a walking arsenal and uh, it's before the part of the Resident Evil games where uh, you, you should be a walking arsenal. <laughs> It's, it's a clue. It's always a clue. Whenever you have a hundred, whenever you have more than a hundred pistol bullets or shotgun shells or whatever, you probably should actually get a little nervous. Not excited. Thanks for doing some drugs to get yourself excited. Hell yeah. <laughs> have we seen that separating agent before or is Honestly, that... this is the only way to do things is to get, to, uh, it's like playing Tetris soothes people. You're organizing your inventory to prepare for whatever is ahead. I, uh, to answer your question, Liquidity, I don't think I've used the separating agent before. You, okay. can, you can use it to, you know, get uh, the component parts of a complex uh, resource like, back, I guess. 
So, um, I have something fun to tell you after the video. <laughs> oh boy. Let's focus on the now for now, though. I sure hope Mia doesn't go angry face and chop us up while we're helping Zoe. Zoe? Zoe, I... Not now. We don't have the time. Do you have both ingredients? Hurry, and give me the serum ingredients. You can't, also e back you, you can't equip that. That's not for you. I want it, though. No, that's for Zoe to increase her inventory space. Give it to me. I, I want more inventory space. Wait, so you've collected two of those now, right? Does that mean yes. Ethan is like, he's like wearing one on each arm? He's got, he's got one on each arm and he's just got padding like a football player. <laughs> no, no, he's wearing one on the front, one on the back. Ah, it's like Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> yep. You know what, this game was ahead of its time. And give me the serum ingredients. Right here. This should be enough, right? If we make him fast enough, my father and Lucas aren't far away. He's coming. Daddy's coming. Good. There's enough for two. So after we make the serum, what's next? There's a boat outside. We'll take it through the swamp. But... Now the vessel get very far without the serum. She put them in a juicer. <laughs> Can't believe she's got a juice row. Hey, one of those is mine. <laughs> Zoe, get some ass back to the house. I will deal with you later. <laughs> <laughs> We, we, we are kind of, we're, we're kind of a home wrecker, I've realized. In a manner of speaking. I don't know, Jack's the one literally wrecking the building right now. Well, well, sure, <laughs> but buildings, buildings can be rebuilt. Relationships are much harder to build up after they have dissolved. So, yeah, Jack's back and, uh... He's, he's all over the place, honestly. He needs to calm yeah. down. You know what, actually, I think it would be better if we helped him get even more all over the place. <laughs> Working on it. Yeah, like that. So, uh, as you can see, Jack has a lot of eyes on his body now. Yeah, so, so Birkin is running around holding a pipe, and when the eye opens, you need to shoot it because it's the weak spot, you see. If you shoot him in the head, it doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, it's a lot faster to knife Birkin if when, you know... Yeah, you if you're a him... fucking cheater. It's a valid yep. strat. <laughs> it is, it's true. Boy, even I love the way he flounders. Like, even if you're not playing at like 200 FPS, it's still pretty fast. Anyway, yeah, just shoot the fucking eyes. I like this fight. I like this fight because he has a billion ways to attack you. He has so many ways to just crawl around this room and swing at you. Like, you almost have to, you almost have to block reflexively. Kinda, yeah. Also, this is probably the last place the flamethrower is actually useful. Well, well, no, you actually probably shouldn't have done that in a wooden building. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Well, well, if there's anything I know about fire, it's that it's not fine, actually. It's fine. This it's probably fine. I'll, I think a lot of this wood is wet. Ah, so this is this is one of those like controlled burns like a pine wood forest. Yes. Yeah. Ah, you know what? Now this all makes sense. Jack is an environmentalist. Hence, hence why he has become one with nature and turned into a giant shrimp. <laughs> it is the South. It makes sense that he turned into a shrimp. <laughs> really look at him. I love his. I love his weird little gribbly arms on his back. So oh, I. I think I'm gonna climb back up now and uh, start. Grabbing supplies. I get it. Wait, I, I get it. He's a crawdad. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> what if that actually is the joke, though? I hope it's not. Um, so about that thing about fire spreading. 
It's fine. Well, you're now using your exploding flaming grenade launcher. I would use the neuro rounds that don't set things on fire. <laughs> I don't think I have any. <laughs> Hang on, Jack. Just can pull this out and take a look at it. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make sure my grenade launcher is okay. Yeah, I gotta clean it real quick during the fight. It's getting covered in you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he's growing other Jack faces, too. He's got... They aren't just eyeballs. On his back, there's like a half-formed other Jack face. Speaking of uh, his his oh. face, we could actually see this face uh, beginning to form uh, when we fought him in the uh, the basement. Yes. Yep. So, uh, funnily enough, for if you go back and watch the the folks for the folks watching this, all three of us realized it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> if he, when he when he splits in half, the face that comes out, it it just resembles his final form already. It, it really is like Birkin. Also, I cut ahead like two or three minutes because I could not find the last fucking eye for the life of me. Oh, that one on the tail is a pain. Yeah, everybody seems to miss the crotch eye. I don't... Because he's always covering it! I mean, I don't blame him for wearing a cup. It seems like a situation where it would prove useful. Yeah. Anyway, once we get all the eyes, it's time for the next phase of the fight, where he just, uh, grabs you? Well... I mean, he's gotta wind up for it first. Oof. This part sucks. If you have, if, like, you can't really dodge his attacks. You have to block them here instead of dodging. If you don't have any healing equipment. Well. Yeah, I think I ran out of healing items by this point. Yeah, you may be fresh out. This is an endurance match against Jack. That's what this whole game has been. Now, I've seen everything. And I'm with Ethan. The arena's destroyed now, so uh, you can't grab any more supplies if you missed them. Oh. That's a bummer. Ethan, this way. Nothing on you. Use the serum on him. You, you want me to cure him? It's actually sad in a way because he tried really hard to kill you actually like he tried hard harder than anybody else so far seriously congrats jack you you have been a very persistent fellow like to the point where the last thing he did was basically the first thing he did just grabbed us and was like check this shit out <laughs> <laughs> a very hardy fellow i like that even the little shrimp tail is reaching for you he just really wants to grab Ethan. I mean, he looks pretty fit, and he has been running around this whole game. I wouldn't let him go if I had my hands on him. I had to use one of them. There's only one left. There's only one left. There can't just be one left. What the hell are we gonna do now? Zoe, why are you surprised? Uh, so, wait. What what are we going to do now? We could cure Mia? Or we could cure Zoe? Yeah. Uh, what about what? Ethan? Well, I don't know why Ethan never got the choice, but we're going to cure Mia. It's fine. It was foolish thinking I could escape. But Zoe... Go! Both of you just go! Come with us. I'm, I'm sure there's someone who can help. This is my home. Apparently I belong here. I'll send help. Don't bother. There won't be anyone left to help! Thank you. 
the hell else was I gonna choose? Ethan. <sighs> Mia, I know you've been through a lot. But we need to talk. You had something to do with all this, didn't you? Look, I just want to know the truth. Ethan, I honestly don't remember. Try. <sighs> Is that the boat? How the fuck did that get here? You're okay. What the hell was that? What the fuck? What is that? What is that? Oh, I forgot I wanted to I forgot I wanted to point out that like all of his dialogue in that fight was just like reused voice clips from literally his every other appearances. No, just deeper he's, and more he's got so many unique ones about Marguerite being dead and all that. There are tons of unique ones. I don't know why they reused them.